Elvis the phone. Elvis, Elvis Duran. The Elvis Duran phone tab. The return of two good friends. So Kim emailed us and wants to phone tap his aunt June, who's also his boss. June owns a Chinese takeout, and so Kim wanted to mess with her on his day off. So I'm going to call as Patrick Fitzgerald, and the bald freak Ronnie is going to be calling as Gerald Fitzpatrick. you got to keep up with these because they go kind of fast. Yeah. Here we go. Patrick Fitzgerald and Gerald Fitzpatrick. Today's phone tap. Uh, yeah, good afternoon. I'd like to place an order, please. What's your name? Uh, my name is Patrick. Patrick Fitzgerald. Okay. What uh, What is your order? Pint of white rice, some uh, steamed dumplings. Chicken, pork, shrimp. Shrimp. Okay. Chow mein. Got a quart of that. Okay. And uh, else? also, let me get um, a pint of orange chicken. Orange chicken. Okay. No MSG. Pick up or delivery? Delivery, please. Okay, what is your... I'll, you, I'll call you back with my address, okay? I, I, I gotta run. My, my other phone is ringing, okay? Okay. Hi, can I place an order, please? What is your name? Gerald Fitzpatrick. Oh, uh, yes. You called earlier. You adding to your order? All right, can I get some brown rice? Okay, brown rice. No white rice. Okay. Can I get some uh, fried roast pork dumplings? Fried roast pork dumplings? No, no chicken dumplings? Roast pork. Uh, do you have beef lo mein? Yes, beef lo mein, no chicken chow mein. No chicken chow mein, beef lo mein. Okay, you changed to beef lo mein, no chicken chow mein. No chicken chow mein, beef lo mein. Anything else? And an order of orange beef, please. You want to change your orange chicken to orange beef. You change the chick. You want orange beef now. Yes, orange beef. Okay, so what is your address for delivery? I'm going to come pick it up. Okay, you come pick up. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. Team Hotel this is Patrick Fitzgerald calling you back with my address for delivery. Oh, you can pick up. No, I'm not. I'm on crutches. I can't leave the house. No, you say you want pick up. No. Hey, you tell me. You tell me. I'm busy. Do you want pick up or do you want delivery? Okay, I'd like to add to my order, too. Okay, we give you delivery. What else do you want? I'd like to uh, add some Mugugai pan. Okay, you have uh, beef lo mein. No, you have chicken chow mein. No, you said beef lo mein. You changed. I didn't change. I just, I'm just i just calling you back right now. I don't know what you're talking about. And uh, I wanted those steamed chicken dumplings. No, you said five pork dumplings. You changed. You called me. You called me just now. You called me. You changed. Wait, wait. You heard me wrong. You wrote it down wrong. No, I did not. You and you changed that chicken. chicken. I want orange chicken. You, you asked for orange beef. You I don't, orange I don't beef. eat beef. I only eat poultry. No. Listen, switch it. Hey, wait, 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 go on, go on, go on, you, 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 Hi, this is Gerald Fitzpatrick. I just called uh, hey, a minute ago. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah. You hung up on me. Give me your address for delivery, huh? I'm not delivering. I'm coming to pick up my order. No, you say you want delivery. You got the name you... Gerald Fitzpatrick, right? Yes. And you added Mugu Guy Pan. Mugu Guy Pan? No. That must be somebody else. Patrick Gerald, right? Yes. Same name. You say no MSG. No, I want MSG. I love MSG. Can I have extra MSG, no, actually? No, you keep calling me. You keep calling me and changing your order. We don't make food for you. And I see on your menu here, if the order is over twenty dollars, you get a free can of soda. Can I get a Coke? I only drink Pepsi. No, you don't come no more. So I'm gonna pay by cash. I'm no, gonna pay by credit card. I tell you, we don't make the food. And if I can have the duck sauce and the hot mustard in the cups, not the packets, that would be great. Don't bother with the duck sauce and the mustard. I only use soy sauce. Thanks. Don't make the food for you. No, you keep changing order. No. But I'm already on the way. No. I'm stuck here on crutches. I can't house. leave my house. Boy, yeah, real boy, yeah. Why are you trying to think to yourself? I write down two paper right here. I got one paper. Okay, one's the white rice. Another the fried rice. You can change back and forth. You are a liar. You are a liar. All right, read the order back to me. You want uh, Mugu Gai Pan? That's right. I love Mugu Gai Pan. I hate Mugu Gai Pan. Then why did you order something you hate? <sighs> I heard you guys have the best Mugu Gai Pan. We do have the best Mugu Gai Pan. Then I'll, you know what? Add that to my order. You know what? On second thought, this is way too much food for one person. I'm going to pass on the Mugu Gai Pan. I know. I'm talking to... Who am I talking to? Jackie Fitzgerald. Hello. 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 You there? Uh, wait, is that two people on the phone? No. Yeah. Yes. Nuh uh. What? I'm on the phone. I'm on the phone. I don't know what is happening. Who is this? I told you. I'm Patrick Fitzgerald. Gerald Fitzpatrick. Are you playing trick on me? Yeah. No. Yes, we are. 
我唔知做乜嘢，我唔知啊，我唔知啊，我唔明啊。It's not us. It's Kim. How do you know Kim? Kim got in touch with us because my name is Scary Jones from Elvis Duran in the Morning Show, and I'm Bald Freak Ronnie. And you've been phone tapped. You're on the radio. Oh, oh, Kim. <laughs> yeah, where is he? Oh, yeah, really. Yeah, it's not. It's not. He's playing. He's playing. Really, it's really hard. It's really hard. It's really hard. Please tell me you didn't start cooking because if you did, Elvis Duran is going to cut you a check for one hundred dollars. Okay, okay. So no, no pick up. No, you could cancel it. Give okay, the food to the homeless. Still send check. Yes. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. Oh my God, I'm gonna call Kim. He's in trouble. <laughs> that was pretty awesome. That was that was great. Oh, I love that. Just hoping that they weren't cursing in Cantonese. This phone tap was pre-recorded with permission granted by all participants. Elvis Duran and the Morning Show phone taps, bringing families together while tearing their homes apart. Got going for you guys tonight. Here we go. Elvis, Elvis Duran, the Elvis Duran phone tap. Are you ready for yes, a little Patrick Fitzgerald and Gerald Fitzpatrick? Yeah. All right, Scary, what's your phone tap all about? Anita wants a phone tap her husband, Ronald. The whole family rented a cabin in the Catskills from an online short-term house rental website, and they had a pretty bad experience, so Ronald complained on the website and wanted credit. So he's waiting for one of the representatives from the website okay. to call right. back. So I figured I would call back as Patrick Fitzgerald, along with my counterpart, Gerald Fitzpatrick. All right. And here's a wild card. The son gets phone tapped, too. So we kind of got to bring it phone tap. Yeah. It's the most confusing phone tap ever. You'll love it. Here we go. Hello. Hi, is this Ronald? Yeah, it's Ronald. Who's this? Hi, Ronald. This is Gerald Fitzpatrick. I'm a travel specialist here at Ave Me Brain. How are you today? Oh, cool. We reviewed your case for the Catskills right. cabin that you reserved um, last month, correct? That's right. And uh, we spoke to the owner of the property as well. And I'm happy to report to you that we are going to reimburse uh, $450 credit in your name for a future reservation at Ave Me Brain. Does that work for you? Yeah, it's fine. That's all I wanted in the first place. I'm glad we could resolve this. I know sometimes these are difficult things to deal with. So thank you for your patience, sir. And uh, look great. at the email from me. Hey, 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 I appreciate the call. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. Looking for Ronald Fisher. This is Ronald. My name is Patrick Fitzgerald, and I'm a representative for me, right? And I'm responding to your complaint on the website about a family trip that you had to the Catskills. Yeah, we spoke like three minutes ago. Uh, no, we didn't. I just called you now. Yeah, we did. Responding to your complaint. You have... Um, yeah, you just called me like five minutes ago or whatever. You told me it was going to be credited, and I said, great. You said, great. I'm fine. You're fine. Everything. I didn't give you the news good. yet. Can you predict the future? Hey, what, are you getting cute with me? Unfortunately, we spoke with the owner of the cabin. They said none of what you described happened. We cannot honor this request for $450 at this time. You just told me five minutes ago. We got a credit. Now you're calling up saying you're not going to give me the money. The toilet didn't work. The barbecue didn't work. The dishwasher didn't work. The bed had bed bugs. Nothing worked. What kind of company do you guys want? It's a big thing for us. Maybe it doesn't matter Sir, so much to you. Could you hold on, please? I don't know what to do there. What? This is Gerald Fitzpatrick. How may I help you? What the f is going on? What is this? The, the bait and switch thing you're doing? Ronald, we spoke earlier about your credit. Can I have your email address so I can get this email out to you? Now I'm getting the credit? Yes, $450 credit. Well, sir, please hold. Hey, am I getting or not getting? This is Patrick Fitzgerald. Sir, are you calm now? What do you mean am I calm now? You come on, you tell me I'm getting the credit. You tell me I'm not getting the credit. I will eat the damn children if you keep messing me like this. What Am I getting a refund or not? We have the owner's testimonial. We cannot give you your money back. You just said I was getting a refund. I never go back on my word. I hey, never said you were getting... Man, I'm talking. Hold on, please. Where's your company? Hey, don't hang up on me. Hey, get that damn fuse and talk to your f***ing head and I'll take all your teeth out. Ronald, I have your credit ready to be delivered. I just need your email just to be verified. Is there a problem? What? What's the problem? This guy is like crazy, man. He's telling me one thing. He's telling me another. He's messing with my head. The account listed here is Ronald. Is there a shift? This is Ronald. This is his son. We are willing to credit your account $450, and he seemed to be okay with that when I spoke with him earlier. Is there a problem now? No, no. That's it, it, exactly what we wanted. Ronald, Donald, you guys are good to go. I'm just going to send an email, and I just need that email verification from you guys as soon as you can uh, get it to me. We've got it taken care of. That's all. All you need is your email. He said one thing, and he got another thing. I'm sorry, my, my lunch is here. We got McDonald's. Well, are you going to finish the phone call or what? Are you going to eat lunch? He's old. Wait, 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 hello? Please continue hello, hello. to hold. And a member of our staff will be happy. This is Patrick Fitzgerald. All right, here's my email address. Is that all you need? 
I didn't ask you for your email address, sir. I you told you. You just asked me for my email no. address. You're going to issue the refund credit. You're delusional, sir. I, I'm delusional. You're the one that's schizophrenic, my man. I, I could tell you that as I'm standing, I've been doing this for 10 years. 10 years you've been working at a f call center. That's real, real nice, buddy. This is only my 10th day on the job, so I'm glad what? we were able to take care of you. We're not going to be able to take care of you this time. What the f is going on? Is what, this Donald guys? or Ronald? This, this is Donald. Who the f am I talking to? This is Patrick Fitzgerald. This is Gerald Fitzpatrick. What kind of f name is Patrick Fitzgerald Fitzpatrick? Patrick, did you get your McDonald's? No, I ordered Burger King. I want to talk to your supervisor. Okay, I'll connect you with my supervisor. Sir, I am the supervisor. This is Ronald again. Oh, my father's name is Ronald. My father's dead. What, what, do, you, what do you want, drugs? No, sir, I've never taken a drug in my life. I smoke marijuana daily. What do you mean you've never taken a drug? You smoke marijuana daily. Marijuana's a drug. I don't like the way you buy it off of me. I'm going to follow a complaint with your company. Okay, you can go ahead and do that. It's my last day on the job. I just got promoted. I really don't want this on my record. No, no, I'm going to file a complaint about you, buddy. A big one. Who am I talking to? This is Patrick. This, this is Charles. Can I help can you? Help is there anything else? Ooh, is that a nickel? Hello? Hello? Is there anything else we can help you with, sir? Is there what, anything you now? Can I be of assistance to you? Hello? I'm glad we're I'm sorry you weren't able to come to terms with an agreement. What, are you two different guys? Because I need to know who to knock out when I come up there. So you wouldn't hurt a man with glasses, would you? I'll take those glasses off of you. You'll never read again. Sir, I have 20-20 vision. You will not have 20-20 vision after I'm done with you. Sir, I appreciate your enthusiasm, but I don't advocate violence. I'm going to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, um, you've been phone tapped. Phone tapped? What is that? What? You've been phone tapped? <laughs> Hey, Ronald! <laughs> Donald! Are you kidding me? This is Scary Jones. And Ronnie. Are you kidding me? Uh, we're from Elvis Duran in the Morning Show, and your wife Anita is playing a joke on, I guess, both of you. We got two for one on this deal. <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe it. That's love you guys. I got, I got a question. Are we getting the money back or not? <laughs> Elvis Duran. I love that. That was that pretty was awesome. So good. I'm Joe Fitch. My dad is dead. I don't do drugs. I smoke marijuana. I don't condone <laughs> violence. I'll kill you. <laughs> that was great. I'm still amazed and shocked to this day that people stay on the phone that long. <laughs> I, mean, I would be out. Those guys are great. Thank you very much, Joe awesome. Patrick and Patrick Fitzgerald. This phone tap was pre-recorded with permission granted by all participants. Elvis Duran and the Morning Show phone taps. Bringing families together while tearing their homes apart. Okay, it's time for another one of these crazy things, and judging by the title, I'm assuming this is the first one in the series. So, here we go. Elvis, Elvis Duran, the Elvis Duran phone tap. All right, scary. Yeah. What's your phone tap about today? Emily wanted to phone tap her boyfriend, Raphael. Raphael's been waiting on a call back from the financial company for his car because he moved and has been missing payments and recently got a letter saying his car was about to be taken away. So I'm going to call him and pretend I'm from the finance company and with Ronnie, the bald freak, also helping me on this. We love Ronnie. He's good. He's great. This is a, uh, a tag team phone tap. Yes, Ooh. it is. Here we go. Let's listen in. Yeah, this is Hello. definitely the first one. Hi, I'm looking for Rafael Hernandez, please. Uh, speaking? Rafael, hi, my name is Patrick Fitzgerald from Customer Care here at Naha Financial Services. How are you today? Hey, I'm good. Finally, you guys called back. I understand you're having issues with the letter we sent about us impounding your car. Um, so... Yeah, we didn't want it to so, come to that, you know. No, 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 hold on, hold on. You guys sent invoices to my old address okay and then finally somehow i get my impound notice in my new address first things first i have to send you over to the change of address department um if you could please hold on one second i've already changed my address Hello. you will be assisted shortly please continue to hold and the member of our staff will be happy to give your call the undivided attention it deserves yes this is gerald fitzpatrick speaking how may i help you sir um can't, someone just sent me over here can you just send me back to him please and uh, what seems to be the trouble, sir? Can I help you with something? Yes, yes. This guy who wants me to change my address, but I already have the right address on file. Spell your name for me, please. R-A-F-A-E-L. Mm -hmm. Hernandez. Mm -hmm. Just like every other Mexican person that lives in this city. And your address, sir? It's, it's you know, Mill Ridge Drive. And, sir, do you have your account number handy? Uh, no, I don't have my account number handy. That's unfortunate. I don't know my account number, okay? That's the f problem. That's what I've been trying to tell you guys this whole time. I don't know it because I don't have any invoices. Because you guys have been sending my invoices to my old address. Does this make sense? I need to know why we have 
not received payment for you within the last four months. I just told you why you haven't received payment. All right, sir, let me let me put you on hold for a second, and we're going to transfer you to the billing department. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Gerald? Yes, Fitzgerald. Patrick Fitzgerald. What's your name? What the f*** is your problem? Do you have amnesia? You You started yelling at me as if I took the information down. You did take the f***ing information down, all right? Are you, are you not uh, Patrick Fitzgerald Fitzpatrick? This is Patrick Fitzgerald. That's what I'm saying, then. Right, but to, in order to change your address, you need Would to speak with our... I just spoke to you. You told me what, what I needed to know Sir, about... Uh, do you plan to pay automatically with Easy Pay? We can set that up for you. I started off paying online, and you guys started sending me invoices in the mail to the wrong address, but I'd like to talk to somebody that doesn't have amnesia so I can get this problem fixed, and I can take my daughter to the park. Right. Hello, sir. Hello? Can you not hear me? Hello? Yes, sir. We were talking about payment online. Sir, I apologize, but I don't recall talking to you about this. Um, what is your name? What the... What, holy f <laughs> My name is Rafael Hernandez. Oh, yes, Mr. Hernandez. Um, who's this old mill road, correct? No, I don't believe it's who's this old mill road anymore. My new address is Tissino Mill Ridge Drive. No, actually, we type it into our computer system right here, and there seems to be an update in process, and it looks like we're all set then, sir. Is that correct? No, we're not all set then, because my car is going to get impounded later today. Before this whole mess Please happened, hold. They were, you guys were just taking this is money out of my account. Yeah, hold on. Would you just wait up until I'm done talking? I don't know what you're speaking about. Okay, what, what is, what's your name? Patrick Fitzgerald. Not Financial Services, Gerald Fitzpatrick speaking. How may I help you? Hello? Hello? Hi. Hello? This is Patrick, Patrick Fitzgerald. Hello? Hello? This is Patrick Fitzgerald. Hello? Hello? Hi. Gerald Fitzpatrick Hello? speaking. Man? Hello? Yes, hi. How are Hello? you? Hello, sir. Two people on the phone right now. We are sending out a tow truck to impound your vehicle. What the f*** are you sending out a tow truck for? You should be sending out apologies. You sent me bills to a wrong address. The system has not updated yet with that change of address, so yes, I... did. You just confirmed that it is updating with me. Hello? Okay, sir. Would you like to pay by MoneyGram? I can't pay four months just out of pocket. My kid will starve. You want a child to starve? Is that what you want? Well, I'm sorry. I don't have any children, sir, so I wouldn't know what that's like. I'm married with your children, sir. I understand. Listen, but... you <laughs> this job can get outsourced, and then he's going to be living on the streets. You do methamphetamine. You're going to your children will starve. You hear me? I don't have Some any children, bitch. sir. You just told me you have children, and they will starve. You will be assisted shortly. Good afternoon, the knock Good afternoon, the knock This is Patrick Fitzgerald speaking. Hello? Hello? Do you hear the other injur reverb on this phone line? Can you not hear me? I hear you, sir. You do hear me. Great. Wonderful. Can you hear Mr. Hernandez? There's another person on this line and my going crazy. Sir, I'm sorry. We're going to have to impound your car. Sir, I have good news for you. We will not have to impound your vehicle. Why the f are you double teaming me like this, okay? This is super unprofessional. What I need to know is whether my car is going to get impounded or whether I should drive a f to Canada right now. What you should know is that you've been phone tapped. Sir, you've been phone tapped. What the f are you talking about? This is Patrick Fitzgerald. And this is Gerald Fitzpatrick. Actually, I'm Scary Jones. And I'm Ronnie. And Emily wanted to mess with you, Raphael. Wait, what? Hello? What the f Hi. <laughs> the whole time I was thinking that, that, that I'm going crazy or something. <laughs> that was hilarious. That was crazy. I love that. That was so stupid. <laughs> I'm gonna bring those guys back. We I love them. <laughs> Gerald Fitzpatrick. Patrick Fitzgerald. Yes, I love them. <laughs> what a great idea. Tell Ronnie we said thank you. That was fantastic. <laughs> Permission granted by all participants. Wow, that got crazy quickly. Bringing families together while tearing their homes apart. Get ready, guys. Things are about to get crazy again. Elvis Duran, the Elvis Duran phone tap. All right. Scary has informed me that today's phone tap needs a little concentration and setup. Okay. So concentrate on the setup. All right. Here we go, Scary. What's it all about? Well, Lydia wanted to phone tap her mom, Mildred, after Mildred has been trying to return a shirt to an online company. Now, they failed to include that, that little return shipping label in order, you know, in, in her order. So there's been a series of breakdown in communications. It's been awful. Uh, she's been expecting a callback. So Ronnie in the back and I pretend to be the company. And by the way, the older daughter, Denise, is sitting in the background and she also gets phone tapped. So it's a tag team phone tap on mom and daughter. All right. So a lot going on. Hope you kept up with that. If you didn't, maybe you'll figure it out. But listen closely. Here we go. The tag team phone tap 
with Scary and Bald Freak Ronnie in the back. Here we go. Hello? Hi, I'm looking for Mildred Bad Please. This is Mildred Bates. I'm calling. My name is Patrick Fitzgerald from Zulapazin.com, and I'm following up regarding a Oh, yes, yes, yes. That... I, I called you guys two months ago. Nobody never called me back and told me to return my brown shirt. Nobody ever called me back. I'm sorry, you're back. cursing at me. What, what did you say? I don't care. I don't care. I buy a brown shirt. I buy Whoa, a brown shirt. Brown... I buy a brown shirt. Open your oh, ears. Shirt. I pay all my money, and I want to change it, and nobody give me good customer service. We have to send you the shipping label and a box. Yes, I want a shipping label. I want a box because they're too large. If it costs me, I pay a lot of money for it. Right. I don't want it, okay? So we need to get your name and address. You Hold on address? one second. What? what? Zolapazit.com, Gerald Fitzpatrick speaking. How may I help you, man? How may I help you? I just talk to you. I tell you right there all my problems. You tell me how may I help you. Why do you leave it? Eh? Ma'am, I'm sorry. You were just transferred to my ass? department. Eh? You leave me your ass? Why do you leave it? Ma'am, can I have your address and your name? I tell you my name. You call me with my name. Ma'am, it says here that you would like to purchase a an item. Is that correct? Purchase? Purchase? What would you speak? Eh? This is Patrick Fitzgerald. Did you get the problem taken care of? going on over there. You know, you don't listen. What did I say, Pat Chief? I didn't say anything about purchasing, ma'am. I just tried to get you to the proper department so we can have a label and a box processed for no, you. No, I'm stupid. I hear you perfectly clear. You said Pat Chief. Jared, I it's said, I speaking. Want... You tell me I have to put my brown shirt in a box and ship it to you. Ma'am, did I hear you say you want to put a brown in a box? Listen, okay? I'm not stupid. I don't play games. I have to go to work. I have to go to the market. You waste my time. Do you have okay? an item number for the item you're looking to purchase, ma'am? I tell you I'm not purchasing. Please I hold. Hello? Hello? This is Patrick Fitzgerald. Calm, calm down. Please. Maybe we should speak with somebody who understands proper English. Yeah, I understand proper English. I'm not speaking to you in English right now. Uh, maybe broken, but uh, it's... No, some... it's not broken English that I'm speaking to you. Brown cashmere sweater. Do you understand that? Yeah, do you understand 200 dollars up in here? I have to send her a shipping no, label. No, you know what? Can you just get a shipping label? I'm trying to get the label sent to her, but I need your address. She, but she tried to do that already. I'm sitting right here. I heard her. And you're trying to sell her a new shirt. No, she doesn't I want didn't know what shirt. you're talking she about. I tried to transfer shirt. her to the department. Please hold. Don't put me on hold. Gerald Fitzpatrick speaking. I have your order ready, ma'am. Who's this? Who's this? This is Gerald Fitzpatrick. Can I have your credit card information, of course? Do you not understand what I just said to you? Well, my notes You're here, to according to... something. I don't want to be sold anything. We're trying to return. Are you crazy? You're crazy, Patrick dude. Fitzgerald. I'm saying straight up. Uh, I just got on the phone here. Uh, what do you, mean you just got on the phone? I've been talking to you. So we're all set? No, we're not all set, dude. You need to drip a few WD-40 drops in your hearing aid and turn it up because you're not hearing what I'm saying to you. I'm hearing every word. We do word. not want to buy anything. I we want said to you return. Were. I never said you wanted to buy yeah, something. Nobody. I'm here to assist you with the return of your shirt. Purchase department? Hello? This is the return department. Who am I speaking to? Would you like to purchase a sweater right now? Oh, my God. Gerald Patrick, whoever the f*** your name is, I want to visit you in person. If you can't understand what the f*** I'm saying, you need another job. Feel free to visit, visit us in our store in Los Angeles. Angeles. Wow, there's two of them on the phone. What do you mean two on this phone? There's two people on the phone talking at the same time. They're doing this on purpose, Mom. Hello? Right now, Hello? 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 Do you hear me? I hear you fine. Hear me? I can't hear you, ma'am. Can you speak You're up? too loud for me. Hello? Let's solve your problem. I'm you here to solve your nothing, problems. Okay? You stupid animal. You don't solve nothing. You don't listen. You don't go to school. Okay? Man, we're happy to ship that item right out to you. We just need your credit card. I'm sorry, that item is back ordered right now. You got a bull. You got bull on the phone. Where's your manager? Who the f My manager is Elvis Duran. And my manager is Elvis Duran. Put him on the phone now. Mildred, my name is Scary Jones, and I'm here with Ronnie the Bald Freak. And, and together, together we are Patrick Fitzgerald. Fitzgerald. And you've been phone tapped. Your younger daughter Lydia is playing a joke on both of you. Oh my goodness. You serious? You play a game because Lydia tells you play a game on the phone? I'm going to kill her. That's not funny. Oh my God. God. That's not funny. Oh, he's a really, he's the best.
<laughs> I mean, some people were just born to be phone tapped. Uh, great job. Thank Scary. You. Thank you. Tell bald freak Ronnie we said thank you. I will do that. That was great. Look, phone taps. Someone in your life is so phone tappable it's not even funny. I mean, if those guys called me, I'd be like, oh, please. Yeah. I would slam the phone down. But some people just need to get to the bottom of it. Mm -hmm. And she did, thank God. Both of them did. This phone tap was pre recorded with permission He's granted sad. by all participants. Elvis Duran and the Morning Show Phone Taps. Bringing families together while tearing their homes apart.